Toy Tractor Times is at the 2018 National Farm Toy Show in Dyersville, Iowa. We're here with Chase Dunow from Glencoe, Minnesota. Chase is uh, second time here at the show. We got to film his dairy farm in 2017. Chase looks like you've got a big grain farm this year. It's based on an 800, 800 operation in, in somewhere in South Dakota. So they're working on towards the end of August. They're trying to finish up corn before the fall sets. Sure. And uh, congratulations, you took third place in the uh, competition of the youth displays, and definitely a lot of displays here to compete against. Mm -hmm. So let's uh, maybe start over here on the road. It looks like we've got a truck. Yeah. Going down on a tow truck, or and some people was being a little too crazy, and they had to call it a tow truck. And then over here, somebody's done with their shift, so and he's driving back home. And are they mowing the ditch bank over here for hay? Yeah, uh, neighbors asked us since he don't need hay on our farm. The neighbors asked us if we could have some hay. Uh, uh, the neighbors could have some hay, and we said yeah. And then over here. Uh, we can see a big semi full of uh, big square bales. Mm -hmm. And on this side of the ditch, looks like they're round baling up yeah. the, the hay. Right behind the mower. Always good to get every piece of grass you can for the long mm -hmm. winter. Got an old uh, Chevy pickup truck. Yeah, holding up the international semi. Very nice, Lone Star. Looks like it's an international farm. We got some of the classic yeah. farmals lined up here. Mm -hmm. It's a 400, 300, 200, and 100, then it's an old tool corn pickup. All right, cool. And we got the, looks like the garden patch back mm -hmm. here behind the house. Where did you get your house from? Oh, uh, we got it from, uh, I can't remember the name right okay. off the top of my head. Well, it looks really nice. You got the patio here and the windows and up front here front porch garage that's a nice house we also got the power uh, lines yeah. coming through here i got the house from lockwood angus okay sean lockwood mm -hmm. very cool now so we got some big grain bins here in the farmyard yeah. tell me about what's happening down here and uh, so and the yield for soybeans is really good and uh, i like and some years are good and some years are bad, so they just decided to put up four and they didn't get to use for, um, one of the grain bins. Okay. And then uh, corn and soybeans were really good years, so they uh, two of them partially fall and then they fit, and all of the corn is going to fit in this grain bin right oh, here. Got the lid off here now. What tractors do we have down here? Oh, uh, we have an uh, International Turbo and a 340 TSH Magnum. Oh, they will with definitely two get the job done. There's two uh, um, 680 GNM gravity wagons. Cool, now we'll get out here to the harvest. We've got a lot going on. Yeah, uh, the ACO dealer by us reached out and said, do you wanna have a demo on your farm? And we decided to have the, the chance we, we said yeah, so we have so we have a Challenger demo. So we got the Challenger MT eight hundred. Yeah, yeah, it's like a M series. We got a Case Puma on a J and M wagon, J and M cart, Case H eighty two thirty axle flow. Yeah, and a little bit of cow corn. Always got to have that. That yeah. just unfortunately happens, but. Mm -hmm. And then we've got a uh, big magnums over there ripping up the corn stalks. Um, it might be a 340. I'm not so sure. It's, it's close to the 340 magnum ripping up corn stalks. Oh, and then sure. and there's a deer trying to run away from the combine. And there's a tire line right in the snow what here. Okay, yep, tire line. Looks like it's a 370 magnum, so that's yeah, a big one. And then it uh, looks like we've got a Case IH uh, quad track and a turbo coming over here. Mm -hmm. Looks like they found a few stones. Got a 600 quad track, big turbo, chopping up the stalks. And then uh, tell me about your farm shop over here. And so my uncle, my grandpa used to work in 
from the Glencoe uh, deal, uh, Glencoe manufacturers. So, so we gotta we gotta have a uh, Glencoe on it. And now, uh, um, we have a candy power here, and we have a uh, KSH Puma. Uh, P no P Patriot. Patriot and Square. Then, uh, um, they're gonna hook up this tractor to the gravity wagon. And then they just, a couple of hours ago, they just got their demo for the challenger because so they put him in the shed. Nice. And, then, and then they don't want to waste space, so and the, um, the semi is just, we just have the semi when we want to sell the grain. So you can get yeah. it out there quick. Well, I really like that you used a two-wheel drive MX-180 Magnum. Mm -hmm. And what Chase was talking about is he's from Glencoe, Minnesota, and this is a Glencoe uh, field cultivator. Glencoe was a really big farm equipment manufacturer of tillage equipment in the 70s and 80s. Uh, they were bought out by Farmhand and then became part of Agco. And uh, it's neat to see that machinery that's built in your hometown. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, they came back from camp and, and they uh, and something was going wrong with the camp and they decided to start working on it. And then they're checking over the peel, but they make sure it's all ready to sell some corn. It'll be that time. Well, mm -hmm. Chase, thank you for the tour of your farm. It did a great job. And uh, are you going to come back and compete again? Yeah, I'm going to come back with a plan to see it next year. I can't wait to see it next year. Thanks for sharing it with us. You're welcome. Thank you.